this is my C++ project for school this is on banking and it took a lot of hard work to get completed and i would say it took uh, about one and a half month for getting complete so now it's complete and it's working good and i'm very happy with that so today i'm going to show you the output of it and uh, if you want the script for the cpp i can give it to you uh so let's proceed to the output part so i do control f9 for run so there it is you can see on the first first page of the screen so it asks for password you know the password is necessary because it's a banking software and the data can leak so the password is must so right now the password is oh welcome so i type it and as i click enter it welcomes me and shows me the menu screen and there you can see the name of the bank at the top which is actually a little funny because it's icuci bank and down there are the options uh on the first there is add account the second is view all account the third is add amount the fourth is withdraw amount the fifth is to search and the sixth is to modify an account and the seventh is to close an account and the eighth and the last is the exit button so so the i proceed to the first option that is add amount add account so as i go to add account it asks the details of a new account so the account number 101 oh sorry the account is preoccupied so let it be 102 then then it asks for name of the holder the holder of the account so let it be yash then it asks for the account type as for saving and o for others let it be savings bank then it asks for phone number so the phone number is like so this is his phone number and then it uh, finally asks for initial amount so let it be 211 so it's not in range type again so okay Two hundred and fifty-two thousand rupees. So two hundred and fifty-eight. It shows account added successfully. Press any key to continue. So we press enter and we come back on the main menu screen. So let's see what's happened and is the account added really or not by going to the second option that is view all accounts. So there you can see the. Account one zero two that we made right now, name Yash. Account type savings and two hundred and fifty eight balance. There is a a preoccupied account number that we saw uh, when we were making the account. That is one zero one Nityansh. Account type others and the balance you can see. So we go back, and the third option is to add amount. It asks for the account number. to which we need to add the amount so let it be 102 that we made it shows the name of the account holder and shows the current balance that is 258 so it asks for the amount to be added let it be 123 so it shows that amount is successfully added and the new balance is now 381 so as we go back to the main menu we proceed to the next option that is withdraw amount withdraw amount is similar to that of uh, add amount function because it only withdraws uh, the money out of your account so let go to it again it asks for the account number so let it be 102 again and it shows the name of the account holder and the current balance that is 381 and asks for the amount to be withdrawn so let it be we withdraw 381 from uh, the account yash so the amount has been withdrawn and the new balance is now zero that is 
pretty funny now as we go to the second option that is view all accounts we'll be able to see what's happening there on the chart sheet so as we go in the second option there you can see the changes that actually were made and uh, you can see the account number 102 that is yash's account so the balance you can also see that's pretty funny one z that is zero and that of Mithyansh is a lot that I can't speak on this also so as I go back there we proceed to the next option that is fifth to search account details so as we go to the fifth option it asks for the account number to be searched that will be 102 that we made so it shows the details of the account number 102 with the name the phone number the account type the balance amount and ask for any key to get out of the screen so we click enter and we go out to the main menu then the next sixth option is to modify an account so we go to that it asks for the account number to be edited so let it be 102 that is yes the account that we made right now so it asks for the new name the, the account number cannot be changed it's also be, because you know the account number is um, the only primary thing that is different from others so it can't be changed it asks for the new name that is the name of the holder so let it be I'm not going to spell it okay this is let it, this be the name I click enter uh, as you can also see that uh, it says please enter full stop to retain that means if we just type a full stop it will retain the old value so let us retain the uh, old phone number and it asks for the new account type let it be others this time for O and it asks for new amount let it be minus 1 to retain the earlier amount that it was 0 so the screen now shows that account has been successfully added and it wants any key to get out of the screen and go to the main menu and we do that and the seventh option we can see is an close an account so as we go to the close an account option it asks for the account to be closed so let it be 102 so it asks if i'm pretty sure that i'm going to close this account so yes i say yes why why not it's yes only i mean sewer only so i do yes and it shows that account has been successfully closed so as i go out to the main menu the last option is the exit menu so this is also the end of my project and i hope you liked it so as i go to the eighth option there is the last screen the last uh, acknowledgement that I made to flatter my teacher uh, it says I readily acknowledge my indebtedness to my computer teacher Mr. Amit for his support dedication and honest effort that has given me immense help in completing this project and the project by Nityansh Mahishuri press any key to exit and that will exit from a program thank you very much hope we'll meet again